Hello there and welcome to Star Wars 1000. Today will be a review of Kenobi Episode 5. To start off, I'm going to say uh, my no spoilers section and, and then I'll eventually get into spoilers. Uh, but my thoughts on the episode was I thought it was really, really good. Uh, second best episode of the series in my opinion. I feel like the first episode was so perfect. Uh, it would be amazing if this, the last episode becomes like as great as, great as the first episode. But uh, I really liked this episode a lot. There were some really, really, really great moments. I had goosebumps quite a few times. Uh, the plot is definitely moving forward, that's for sure. Uh, I, I was left like, confused a few times and asking myself questions. And I thought there was a couple dumb moments in the episode. But overall, I really, really liked this episode a lot. I feel like it was the second best episode of the series so far and uh, there's just so much to dive into this episode I have to get into spoilers now but such a really great episode in my opinion all right heading into spoilers in three two one all right let's start off the spoiler section with uh, talking about the flashbacks between Hayden and Ewan. I'm sure a lot of fans really liked seeing them, those two back on the same screen. I honestly thought we were going to get Clone Wars flashbacks. I think it would have been pretty cool to see them in the Clone Wars armor, but it was still pretty cool to see the flashbacks of Hayden as still a Padawan. Also, it kind of like shows how Anakin or Vader is still technically the learner in this situation like the line of a new hope says I thought that was a good scene for the episode as well so I I, I, don't, I thought the flashbacks were used pretty good here and they were used effectively for the plot of the show and for how char how the character of Vader is at this moment Speaking of Vader, man, he was awesome in this episode. His fight scene with Reva was I want to say it's one of my favorite fights in all of Star Wars, but I don't know. It might be. I love the scene where he's just using the Force to try to take down Reva. It's like he doesn't even need a lightsaber. He's like that good. He could just like fight with the Force. And I wanted to see more of that like throughout Star Wars. But I love that fight scene. I love the way it played out and the way Vader was using the Force to mess with Reva. Obviously, he could have taken her down like in three seconds, but he wanted to... I think we're seeing in the show that Vader likes to toy with his enemies. and Because he gets like a thrill out of it, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So that f whole fight scene was really, really cool. Uh, I got goosebumps throughout. And just seeing Vader kick ass like that, that was just like so freaking cool. Uh, we also get to see the Grand Inquisitor back. Um, I really wish he was more in this series, to be honest with you. I really wanted to see the Grand Inquisitor and Vader's relationship more in this series, but it is what it is. Um, at least he, we know he's not dead. I, I didn't really think he was dead. I didn't think they were going to break canon. They're not going to break canon like that. We also get more details on the backstory of Reva, and I had a feeling she was one of the younglings in the flashbacks. Um, in the, like in the first episode, we see the flashback of the younglings getting killed. I, I think everyone knew that she was going to be one of the younglings. It was pretty obvious and uh, I was kind of surprised that she's actually not really a bad guy I actually thought she was pretty intimidating as well not intimidating I, I thought she was all right as like a regular inquisitor but I guess a lot of people saw that coming because they felt like they weren't convinced of her being a bad guy and it turns out she wasn't really a bad guy she was just trying to kill Vader uh, I, I don't know what her goal was did she really think she was gonna blindly kill Vader like she blindly stabbed the in Grand Inquisitor uh, I didn't think that was uh, that's like the only problem I had with the episode I felt like they kind of made her <laughs> I think they kind of made her stupid a little bit I don't know if I really liked that I think she could have been much more smarter about everything but she just wasn't she actually thought she could kill Vader like that like really that was your plan Reva well whatever happens with her next uh, I, I guess she's gonna try to kill Luke I don't really know, but obviously she's not dead. She, she survived one stab wound as a youngling, so now she's gonna survive. She survived the second one somehow. I, I, I also, why would they not kill her there, right there on the spot? That's another thing I didn't really get. 
Like, they just stabbed her, and now she's alive. And, hey, I mean, I'm not saying I have a problem with her being alive. I'm just saying, like, uh, why would you just stab her and leave her for dead instead of, um, like, ending it right there? It, like, that's what Obi-Wan did, and that ended up creating Vader. And But Obi-Wan left Anakin alive because he still had feel like he was his, that was his brother. Reva's like some nobody. Why not just, like, behead her or something? We also see the flashbacks of um, when she was a youngling and... Man, that was some really dark stuff. I, I really like how dark this show is, and it's like the darkest Star Wars project ever. And I'm just I'm glad that Disney Plus is like allowing them to go really dark with this show because I think it really helps the show a lot. But that was like that was a little too dark, you know. And I, I'm glad they put that warning in the beginning of the episode. But man, I did not expect them to go full out like that. That was really interesting. Um, other stuff we get in this episode is the death of Tawa. Um, I, I didn't really care, to be honest with you. I, I don't really care for her character. I'm not saying I don't like her. She's just like a forgettable background character for me, in my opinion. We also get to see Haja back, and I really liked his character from episode two. And um, I'm glad he's back. I thought he was pretty cool in this episode, and... Uh, he, I really want to see like a comic series with him. I really like this character in this series so far. Yeah, I, I really like this episode though. I think I covered everything in the spoiler section. We covered Vader versus Reva, which was amazing. Grand Inquisitor is still alive. Oh, Kenobi's badass in this episode as well. Um, I really liked how he was like blocking all the stormtroopers, and I just like seeing Kenobi kick some ass. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I'm guessing in the next episode we're gonna see. Vader and Kenobi fight again, but is I'm guessing also Kenobi's gonna have to save Luke too, right? Or unless he won't save Luke, and maybe Reva just shows up to Tatooine and be like, "Hey, you know what? I shouldn't attack Luke." Or maybe Force Ghost Qui Gon does something. I don't really know. Uh, it should be weird to see how all that plays out, and I'm guessing she's not gonna die. Um, I heard some rumors about there being a spinoff series for her. And uh, I, I'd watch that. I mean, she's a fine character, in my opinion. I don't really have a problem with her. Um, so I'd be okay with to see a, a show with her, I guess. I think she's more of a character that should get a uh, comic series instead of a of another like, a spinoff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I don't... It, if she has a spinoff, then I'd watch it, you know? <laughs> so so I, I'm, like, really excited for next week. I can't believe the show is going to be ending in a week uh I've been really liking this show a lot. So far, overall, I think this is a pretty good show. And uh, I that's my thought. Unless the finale sucks, which I don't think it will suck. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Um, either way, like five episodes, I've really liked all five of them. Um, some more than others. And uh, I'm, I really have liked the series. It hasn't blown my expectations away um actually kind of underperformed my expectations i thought this was going to be something great like a masterpiece and it's not a masterpiece i think this show is pretty good um not the greatest thing ever not the worst thing ever so far that's just my opinion uh maybe there's still time to see some clone wars flashbacks you never know maybe next episode i don't know I, I think this is good enough for the flashbacks i'm sure if vader vader and kenobi have to fight again you know, I, I'd be, like, really disappointed if they don't fight again. Because that first fight was not a fight that I wanted to see. I wanted to see a fight fight. And I'm, like, 90% certain they're going to fight again. I'm also very certain if uh, Kenobi ends up fighting Vader again, he will break off a piece of his mask and we will see Hayden. and He'd be like, you failed me, Master, or um, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so a lot of things to look forward to in this finale. Um Hopefully it's a longer episode because this was a half hour. It was a good half hour, but I want more than a half hour to be honest with you. Like, um, yeah. So this was a really great episode. I'm happy and I can't wait to see next week. So to wrap up the video, may the force be with you always.